Alright, as promised, here's a video of me showing the glitch in Battlefield 1 where you can only fire certain guns with a certain controller because of the trigger pull in Battlefield. Now, I have the game up and running right now, and I have two different controllers here, and I'm going to get two different results using this controller. Now, the first controller I have is the one that's going to malfunction. As you can see, I'm pressing the R2 button, and sometimes it'll occasionally fire. Sometimes when I sprint, it will fire. It's really strange. I can sprint, aim up, and shoot. But, when I'm standing in one position here without sprinting, I press that R2 trigger, nothing will happen with snipers. I'll press the button really slow, nothing. Press it really hard, nothing. But I'll switch to my secondary class and use my pistol. And as you can see, my pistol is firing. Switch back to my sniper rifle. Nothing. Once again, I can sprint and the gun will fire. So it makes no sense. I'll switch to my secondary controller here. I have the elevated thumbsticks on here. But, as soon as I switch to that, I won't change anything in the game and I'll be able to fire that rifle. Okay, go ahead and activate my other DualShock 4 controller. Aim it up, R2 button, I can fire. So as you can see, it's not a software issue within the game. I mean, they could obviously change some sort of coding around and have it like the Call of Duty series where it's the same trigger pull for each gun. And as a result of that, you want to have this issue where there's something wrong with your controller and the R2 button doesn't fire that weapon. So it makes no sense for them to do that when all other games utilize the other method where they all have the same trigger pull. Now, once again, I'll switch back to my broken controller. Apparently, works for every other game, but for Battlefield, it doesn't work. I'll go ahead and go to the one of the shotgun classes and see if those are still broken. But this has been a glitch that I originally found in the beta when I played that in August, it was at 2016. It was present during that, and they didn't fix it for the main release. So I'll go ahead and redeploy. And I'll switch to the shotgun class. Alright, so the trench guns, they do work, like the MP-18, those work, but the single shot guns do not, it seems like. Also, what I've found is when I'm using that other controller, the specialty kits that you pick up do not work. They have the same issue as these. Okay, once again, I'm pressing the R2 button, nothing is happening. I'll switch to my secondary class. I'm able to fire. See if I can sprint. I can sprint again and be able to fire my weapon. So it is not a software issue. They could go ahead and maybe update it in the future and patch this, but they haven't done that since the beta. And because of that, I don't think they will ever in the future. But what I found is, it's a controller issue, something going on with the R2 button and the trigger pull. If you're having this issue, you can switch controllers. Uh, I have extra R2 buttons laying around. You can go ahead and try fixing that by changing that out. But as of right now, I don't think they're going to be updating this anytime in the future. Go ahead, get a different controller, you'll be able to snipe again, it seems like.